Welcome back to After School Reviews. Today we are having a look at this A Nightmare on Elm Street Freddy Krueger figure, which is 17 and up. Uh, get a little view there what the figure looks like. This is from the remake movie, so it's not from... And I, do, I think they have two of these Freddy's from the new movie, um, but this is one of the versions. On the side here it has a picture of Freddy, as you can see there. On the back it says A Nightmare on Elm Street, NECA, and Real Toys. There's a picture of the figure here. Picture of the glove from the remake. A read-up of, I guess, the movie. The remake movie. On the bottom, it says all that good stuff. NECA Real Toys, New Line Cinema. Has a front of the picture right here. It has Freddy Krueger, ages 17 and up. Freddy Krueger right there. So we will come back with this open. Stay here with us. Here's the figure opened up. This is a pretty good figure. As much as I do hate the original, or I mean the remake, I love the original. Uh, the remake movie, again, is not great. Uh, it's very hated, but as a standalone film, if you look at it, again, with every movie, even Star Wars uh, Episode One, a lot of people hate that. I actually kind of like that movie. Uh, just as a stand point of view, just you got to look at it a certain way. So I'm going to look at the accessory we get here, which is the alternate head he does. He comes with this one. I think's my favorite. He has two, and this one has more detail right here on the face. You can see all these nice purples they've added on this. Look there. You can't even see that, um, but on the camera, the eyes are kind of squinted. Teeth have pretty nice grime to them. Really wrinkly. There's not too much detail other than it's really wrinkled. Kind of reminds me of Part 2, Freddy. Here's his hat he comes with. It's, I kind of, I don't know if it's just one painted sculpt, like sculpt, or like with mixtured paint, or it's a one painted, like one solid color and then brushed over with a little bit of this light brown. But it looks as if come kind of, it's almost like a dark brown gray with a light brown paint over it. And it is rubbery. Out of the package, this is what he comes with packaged on. The nostrils are done kind of nice. His mouth is more closed. You can't really even see into his mouth. His eyes um, are different on this one. This one doesn't have extra painted uh, gruesomeness right there. It's, again, just really wrinkly textured. I guess it's kind of got a pink with some white over it. As you can kind of see that right in here. Like right there. It's really wrinkly, though. Even around the eyes, it's got some pink. Here's a comparison, so you can see what each head kind of looks like. There's this one, and there's this one. The detail there is very, it looks really runny, especially as it glistens in the light. You can kind of see that really well. Uh, over here, I don't know why it doesn't have that. I don't know if he gets hit with something or anything in the movie. Uh, his teeth are actually green. I didn't realize how green they are. Alrighty. Maybe that's just a yellow? I don't know. I'm going to pretty much now show you some detail up here closer to the uh, sweater of the figure. You can kind of see, um, it's just black shading in here, and these spots, the neck is painted different colors too as well. It's like pink with that white kind of color over it. It's not white, it's kind of like a, I don't know what color you would call that. It's kind of like the same stuff they've done on his face. This is actually solid, not like, like part one or part two Freddy's that we've gotten, uh, or even part three. Actually, I think part three had a... Uh, our ultimate part three was like this too as well um, and I do not like that because it limits the articulation these are more black spots in the outfit to where it looks like it's burned pretty good the sleeves are done really nice too as well on this one his hand has some blood on there
fingers on this and are a little weird. It just seems weird. It's kind of flat. Almost. The pants are a darker color with a light color over it to where the wrinkles stand out. And the shoes are kind of black with a lighter color. This right here uh, on top of them. And they also have some silvering for the metal parts of the boots. Trying not to shake, but it's just because I'm zoomed in real far. So his articulation, I guess um, what I should show you is the glove. Before I show you the articulation, the glove is another piece of this, which every glove on a Nightmare on Elm Street is different, but this one has a completely different structure design. Uh, so there it is right there. It has some blood on these uh, knives here. I might change that up. It doesn't look too great. It is kind of uh, glossy, so it looks like you just cut them, but it does kind of look stupid right around here, so I might change this because none of the other Freddies have that. As I was saying, the articulation on this guy is limited, but the articulation he has is okay. The head is on this peg right here, so that pretty much means it goes up, down, side to side, everything like that. So that head can look up pretty far, down, it turns all the way. That, you know, that's some pretty good stuff. These arms do go up about that far. Um, if you want to just completely rotate them, they go up that far. Uh, this I actually got for $25. Uh, which, I don't know, I mean, that's a pretty good deal now, because I've seen how much this guy goes on eBay. Uh, it saved me about, I think, $20 or so. And it bends, it swivels, right here at the arm. And the arms are on a ball joint. Uh, so you can move the hand, a swivel, and, you know, bend it forward, back, all that. And the legs here, right here, it twists, but this is hard plastic, so I feel as if it will crack. So I'm not going to, and, and it actually is on like a ball, it's like the same thing he is on the head right here. It's attached from the pant legs, or the legs, feet up to the uh, torso because it he goes forward and back and a little side to side. And he also swivels, so that's pretty cool. And the legs too as well are on swivels and forward back, they tilt, so they're ball joints again, like up here on the top of the head. This figure is pretty cool. I'm going to show you uh, how easy it is to interchange the heads here. And I, I do feel as if this head is a lot better than the other one. It just doesn't seem as good with the other head as it does with this one. Uh, it just seems Freddy from the remake. That's what it looks like to me. It just it's a re The head sculpt here and everything is done really nice on this figure. Now I'll do some height comparisons with some other figures. Here is Jackie Earl Haley, isn't that what his name is? Or is that the Star Wars dude? I'm pretty sure that's his name next to Robert England. Uh, Robert England, uh, Freddy from Part 2, is a little bit taller than this version. Uh, they don't compare much besides the sweater. The pants are, you know, their boots and everything's pretty much different as well. These are more of a brown. These are just kind of a black pants. Or a different color and a different shape. And the sweater on these are soft rubber and these are not. Head sculpts are very different too as well. You can see that amount of detail on this. This figure I think I paid, I think 55, I think I said 44. But I paid around, I paid quite a bit for this figure but it's really cool. I'm hoping they do release these as an ultimate figure. And also here he is next to Arnold Schwarzenegger, and Arnold Schwarzenegger is very tall, as you can see that. Uh, his hat just adds a couple feet, or a couple feet, a couple centimeters, and it makes him almost to about his hair, so that's just a hat. He's clearly taller. Now I will show you some pictures I took of this figure, so you can see what this figure looks like. I'm not going to edit them. 
I'm just going to show you what they look like and what pose you can get them into. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to add score reviews. This is a great channel I upload all the time. So thank you guys for watching.